Hi friends, Sparkled here. We continue our journey through Norway. This is my third film about Norway and I will tell you about eco housing and Norwegian traditional housing. Also, you will see what is on the road between Sandfjord and Gelo. The Norwegian house is one of the most practical solutions for a home in a country with not too cold winters, but lots of snow in winter and rain in summer. A 19th century Norwegian house from the coastal regions is practically no different from the houses on its northern European neighbors. Simple shapes and sharp angled roofs. The main colors of the walls of the Norwegian house are white, ochre, black and brown. The white color of a Norwegian house in the 19th century spoke of the wealth of a Norwegian homeowner. Imported white paint costs 70 times more than red ochre made from local raw materials. Therefore, most Scandinavian houses have a characteristic red-brown ochre color. The traditional black color, which has also migrated to modern Norwegian houses, is the color of tree raisin, which was used to protect wood. After the war, the Norwegians built houses in the American ranch style. At the turn of the 19th 20th centuries, about 800,000 Norwegians emigrated to the United States. After the Second World War, many of them or their descendants returned to Norway and brought with them the architectural style of mass housing in the United States. Interestingly, there are currently more Norwegians living in the United States than in Norway itself. The walls of the vast majority of Norwegian houses are finished in the same way. Sheeting with the raw boards and multi-layer painting. The Norwegians conducted research and found that the unplaned tree, unlike a planed one, absorbs paint better and resists the effects of the natural and weather factors much better. In Norway, boasting of the wealth and building odious places and castles is considered bad form. Fox run across the road. Uh huh. I don't know. We have to ask locals what are those buildings. I'm trying to understand, but there are in this house I have two of them and very interesting form. Those interesting houses. They have no foundation.
You want to get out and film that? Do you remember illustrations from Russian fairy tales? Huts and chicken legs, wooden churches with cascades of sharp wooden roofs, turrets and spires. All these wonderful images were borrowed by Russian folk art from ancient Norwegian wooden architecture. In Russia, Norwegian wooden architecture became known due to the penetration of the Varagian culture, along with its carriers, the Viking princes, Rurik, Truvor, and Sineos. In the possessions of Veliki Novgorod, the Vikings served to protect the sea and river trade roads of the Hanseatic League. A medieval Norwegian wooden barn on chicken legs is usually a storehouse for food supplies. On the first floor of this old wooden barn, food supplies were stores. On the second floor, fabrics and other valuables. There was also a bed on the second floor. The example of the barn clearly shows how witty medieval builders defended themselves from rodents. The steps do not reach the porch, and vertical chicken legs make it as difficult as possible for rodents to get inside the building. Water pipes? Yeah, those are water pipes. They take water and put it from right the river. The this is kind of an amazing place. I was guessing what is on the hill there. It says it's water pipes. But I really don't know. But it's forbidden to walk, forbidden to swim. You can just look at it. It's a forbidden place. Yes, not for a reason. <laughs> Covered with a layer of peat, turf houses are tradition in Norway. Until the 19th century, it was a universal roofing material. Then it began to be replaced by tiles and iron. Green roofs were saved from the complete disappearance by romantic enthusiasts who announced the revival of ancient traditions. At first, these were open air museums. Then people began to apply this technology in the construction of modern private houses. Sir, do you speak English a little bit? Yes. Um, do they rent these houses out or do people just live here? Just live here. Okay, well, it's a very nice place to live. Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, have a good evening. Thank you. Green roofing is one of the oldest types of roofing known since the Stone Age. Ancient buildings on the territory of Scandinavia were covered in the same way. At least six layers of the birch bark were laid with the outer layer down on top of the flooring made of poles and turf was laid on top of the birch bark. And today, Green roofing is a characteristic feature 
of Norwegian homes. Peat roof has a number of advantages. It is very durable, provides heat and waterproofing. It is cool in summer and warm in winter. In addition, the weight of such roof gives greater stability to the structure of the house. Pretty amazing. Probably water. And then again, it looks like it's built so well you could dig uh, probably tunnels with it. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? what? That is a tunnel digger. It goes like this and it digs the round tunnel. Probably because all the roads have so many tunnels. Yep. Wow. How do you feel after the almost couple of hours, I would say, driving with few stops and we are on the top of the mountain somewhere in Norway. Now we are starting uh, to drive down. We didn't have time to look through the roof somewhere, sun is not shining. Well, I'm getting my second wind. Okay, good. And I uh, feel no pain right now. And uh, I think that we're going to find a nice apartment for $80 for tonight. And uh, it looks good. Hopefully we do. So we are going to check whether there they have hotel rooms here. There. Okay. We are driving up to the mountains and uh, trees are very small here, uh, completely different uh, compared to those we saw. Completely different landscapes here. What do you think about this, Lydia? Oh, it's, it's like a death of all it's like, it's like the desert of Norway compared to what we were in. Oh, yes. See, like, there's one of those lovely long Norwegian flags. Yes. And completely different from the area we were previously. And we are driving to our hotel and charging station. There are two categories of houses in Norway. Houses for permanent residents and houses for holidays in the mountains. Some Norwegian holiday homes look like full-fledged residential buildings. They can only be distinguished by a flagpole. When the homeowner comes to the home, the pennant goes up. However, most Norwegian houses continue the tradition of old small shepherd houses in the mountains, where women with children went in the summer to graze cattle and prepare supplies for the winter. For many Norwegians, summer living in the mountain lodge is a happy memory of their childhood. We are approaching Gaelo town and we should check in in the hotel, have a rest, charge a car, and tomorrow go ahead. So, we decided to book an apartment. This is apartment, it's quite late. Already, there's a small kitchen here. Bedroom and bathroom. Here was the shower. That's one hundred forty dollars per night. 
Ready to go, Mick? Yeah. Oh, good morning. Just put it in my shoes. We cleaned up the apartment. The stipulation was leave it as clean as, as it is, we get charged. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good rest, charged our car, and ready to drive ahead. In my next film, we will continue our trip toward Bergen, through the mountains. Watch and enjoy the ride. Or maybe you yourself decide to spend the weekend in Norway too. Then this movie will help you to see what you can find there. Like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me and enjoy your life, your sparklet.